The outcome was the same but the emotions were very different. When Liverpool left White Hart Lane after Jurgen Klopp's first game in charge 10 months ago they were delighted with their point. The performance high on energy but low on quality had helped them grind out a 0-2-0 draw thanks to the heroics of Simon Minolic. This time there were no high fives, no celebratory hugs in the capital. Liverpool once again clinched a share of the spoils but the overriding feeling was one of frustration. This was a contest the Reds could and should have won. Instead they were left cursing their wastefulness in the final third after some guilt-edged chances went begging. It was a display far removed from what Liverpool served up on their previous visit last October. Back then the Reds played up into a bunch of headless chickens. With Gate in pressing the new watchword, they happily ran themselves into the ground for the new boss but rarely posed a threat. Achieving progress since then hasn't been plain sailing but here was undeniable proof about how they have developed under Klotz's guidance. Liverpool looked like a slip, cohesive unit, strengthened significantly by summer signings Joel Matip and Sadio Mane. But for one defensive lapse which Danny Rose seized upon to cancel out James Milner's first half penalty this would have been hailed as a tactical masterclass by Clark. Until then Liverpool had dealt with everything Spurs had thrown at them and caused a stack of problems for the hosts with their speed and creativity on the counter attack. Even after parity was restored, there were no backward steps taken. Liverpool were bold and threw a caution to the wind with Tottenham much the happier to hear the final whistle. Liverpool are unlikely to make any further sightings on the face of it for points out of night going into the international break is an underwhelming return. However, context is provided by the fact that Liverpool have spent the opening weeks of the campaign on their travels as work is completed on Anfield's new main stand. They have also gone away to two of their major rivals for a top four spot and emerged unscathed having outplayed them both. The blip came at Turf Moor where Liverpool stumbled badly on a day then they looked vulnerable defensively and toothless going forward. In truth it's likely to be those kind of games which end up defining this season as it's against the lesser lights that the Reds under Claus have tended to flop. Unless Borussia Dortmund can be convinced to part company with gifted young winger Christian Pulisic, Liverpool are unlikely to make any further signings prior to Wednesday's transfer deadline. That would leave the Reds in profit for this window and without the new left back or defensive midfielder many fans have been calling for. The debate over whether they have done enough this summer will rumble on but nobody could argue that the squad isn't stronger. Liverpool's bench at White Hart Lane was much superior to Spurs with the likes of Daniel Sturridge, David Origi and Marco Grujic. The versatile Milner has proved he can do a job at left back and Claude has Emra Ken, who was missing due to a minor ankle injury to return to his midfield. An error on Claude's part was not bringing on Sturridge the head of Orgy much will be made of Sturridge's absence from the starting lineup, especially after he voiced his frustration about being asked to play wide following his double against Burton. But Permitno has led the line in some of Liverpool's finest away triumphs under Claude and this should have been another for his selection. The Brazilian sets the tone in that role with his relentless work he fixed. If there was an error on Claude's part it was not bringing on Sturridge the head of Origi when Spurs were starting to tire. Origi, who had picked up the knock in midweek, looked strangely sluggish and by the time Sturridge was belatedly introduced he barely had time to work up a sweat. Liverpool led at the break courtesy of Melner's spot kick but they should have been further in front. Cochin Ho will be having nightmares about his early failure to beat Michelle Form after it was put on a plate for him by Firmino. Main has added a new dimension to Claude's side and he repeatedly came in off the right to cause havoc. Twice, the pound's 30 million man was picked out by Adam Lallot but on each occasion Form dashed out to deny him. Defensively, this was a huge improvement with Matip starring on his Premier League debut alongside Dudge and Lovren. Matic's physical presence is a welcome addition to Liverpool's back line. He won his aerial battles and used the ball intelligently. Lover was equally combative as he refused to be bullied and kept Harry Kane shackled. The lack of referee consistency infuriates managers and supporters alike. Claude was raging with referee Bobby Madley when he gave January Rafong hand a talking to for grabbing Maddox's shirt rather than awarding a penalty. By the letter of the law the official was right as the ball wasn't active but why didn't he just let a corner be delivered and then blow up? It's the lack of consistency which infuriates managers and supporters alike. There was no escape for Spurs to minutes before the break when Fermino burst past Eric Lamela, 
who clumsily brought him down and Milner slotted home. In the second half Maurits C. O. Hoshed and Oshman rallied but Liverpool stood firm and could have extended their lead. Maddox header flipped the bar and then Main converted Lalana's cross, only for his celebrations to be curtailed by the offside flag. It was a desperately close call. Spurs still had hope and they cranked up the pressure with Midnallet producing a stunning save to keep out Toby Alderway Ralph's header. With 18 minutes to go Liverpool switched off and paid the price. Eric Dieter's cross dropped to the unmarked rose at the far post and he took a touch to steady himself before slicing it inside the near post. With Origi on for Coton home, Spurridge followed in place of Maine as Claude sought a rousing finale. The Reds should have won it in stoppage time when Spurs left themselves exposed but Alderway Reld got back to thwart Lalana. Close but no cigar.